This is a sequencer I built. I finally finished it up in the last couple days. It's based on this uh, Velamin running light LED kit, which is like seven or eight bucks. Here's all the extra circuitry I added to it, essentially, which is like eight pots, uh, 10K pots. What's inside this guy is my old Atari Punk console. Runs off of two nine volts, one's for the Atari Punk console, one's for the actual sequencer. Here's just the regular Atari Punk console. I have a body contact. Sequencer. And you can see the LEDs go in with each knob. This up top is a speed. Also on the side here is a, uh, this is the reset or on off button. This guy will start the pattern and it actually changes the pattern up to start this guy up. See the pattern is just the basic one at a time and then see the pattern changing up a bit. And there's also a CV out with CV in onto the, my Monotron. Basically, it's just wired to the uh, the gate on the back of the circuit for the Monotron. But it's just a regular Monotron, which is a pretty fun toy as is. So, but I can actually sequence it now. The CV out. You can get some pretty cool sounds with that. Another fun thing to do is actually hook up the Atari Punk console into the auxiliary jack on the Monotron. So basically everything is coming out of the Monotron output now. So. So have that, and then just, well, can create some pretty crazy sounds. Some pretty cool spacey delays going. I haven't quite got.
got it to harmonize, but I'm not even sure if I really can get it to harmonize over, but. Cut off is really fun. You can get some pretty cool lows in there. So yeah, if you decide to build one, they're not actually that difficult. Modifying this this kit really isn't that hard. Uh, mostly you just have to, the hardest part is figuring out how to mount everything. Yeah, I totally suggest trying it out. It's piano.